morning students we are discussing about uh, essential elements right role of uh, essential elements role of essential elements right now go for number 6 number 6 right sir now we are going to discuss what is the role of uh, essential elements uh, right uh, in nitrogen metabolism what is sir nitrogen metabolism nitrogen metabolism what it is the nitrogen metabolism sir in nitrogen metabolism in nitrogen metabolism urease enzyme is involved what is involved sir urease enzyme involved what is involved urease enzyme is involved sir this urease enzyme is activated by nickel this urease enzyme activated by what sir nickel sir nickel is a recently discovered uh, right essential element and it is a micro element yes or no it's a micro element okay right next one sir enzymes right enzymes of nitrogen metabolism enzymes of uh, nitrogen metabolism activated activated right by manganese also sir urease is one of the enzyme involved in nitrogen metabolism like that many enzymes are there which are involved in nitro metabolism nitrogen metabolism okay of this enzymes involved in nitrogen metabolism some of the enzymes gets activated by what sir manganese sir manganese is a which element sir it is a micro element it's a micro element okay right sir nitrogenase is involved in nitrogen metabolism what is the enzyme name nitrogenase and second one is a nitrate reductase what is the next enzyme sir nitrate reductase right sir this uh, nitrogenase enzyme nitrate reductase enzyme these two enzymes are involved in nitrogen metabolism sir in these two enzymes molybdenum is present what is present sir molybdenum is present molybdenum is present sir this molybdenum right it is a micro element molybdenum is which element sir micro element okay with this we completed some important statements about nitrogen metabolism what sir nitrogen metabolism now go for the next one number 7 what is sir nickel nickel induces disease resistance in some plants not all plants induces disease resistance what sir induces a disease resistance induces disease resistance in some plants this statement is important okay it is inducing what sir disease resistance in some plants who sir nickel right next uh, number 8 sir calcium is which element sir it is a macro element it's a macro element yes or no sir this calcium helps in the formation of mitotic spindle sir calcium involved in the formation of mitotic spindle what sir involved in formation involved in formation of what sir mitotic spindle involved in the formation of what sir mitotic spindle involved in the formation of mitotic spindle is this statement okay right see this is a chromosome right sir in this chromosome two chromatids are present right this is one chromatid this is another chromatid sir this is a centromere what is this one centromere centromere what is another name for centromere primary constriction centromere is also called as what primary constriction primary constriction sir during mitosis during mitosis in metaphase in which phase metaphase uh, spindle fibers comes and attaches to kinato core this is the kinato core kinato core yes or no kinato core 
okay right sir during which phase sir meta phase during which phase sir meta phase during meta phase the spindle fibers comes and attaches to kinetto cores present on either side of centromere present on either side of centromere we read this statement during cell division in first year yes or no right therefore see this statement sir during mitosis in meta phase spindle fibers comes and attaches to kinetto cores present on either side of centromere right sir in ana phase in which phase ana phase when this spindle fibers contracts which phase ana phase what contracts spindle fibers contracts when this spindle fibers contracts centromere divides yes or no what gets divided centromere gets divided when when spindle fibers contracts in which phase ana phase this spindle fibers of mitosis okay in the formation of this spindle fibers okay right what is involved calcium is involved okay therefore calcium is involved in the formation of mitotic spindle this mitotic spindle attaches to kinetto cores present on either side of centromere during metaphase in anaphase when this spindle fibers contracts centromere divides and the two sister chromatids gets separated the two chromatids sister chromatids gets uh, separated right now go for the next one right number 9 what sir boron boron sir this boron is a micro it's a micro element right it's a micro element sir this boron promotes uptake and utilization of calcium promotes uptake and utilization of calcium what sir promotes uh, what uptake and utilization promotes uptake and utilization of what sir calcium but this calcium is a macro or micro element sir it's a macro element yes or no right whereas this boron is a micro element boron is a micro element which is promoting the uptake and utilization of a macro element that is a calcium sir this boron even promotes a right uh, carbohydrate translocation helps in carbohydrate translocation helps in what sir carbohydrate carbohydrate translocation carbohydrate translocation okay sir carbohydrates are synthesized by photosynthesis process and speaking about green plants in green plants carbohydrates in green plants this carbohydrates are synthesized by which process sir photosynthesis process photosynthesis process where in the leaf in green plants inside the leaf by photosynthesis process carbohydrates are synthesized this carbohydrates synthesized in the leaf moves to different parts of the plant uh, through what sir phloem through what phloem is this statement okay right uh, similarly water and minerals absorbed by root uh, distributed to different parts of the plant uh, through what xylem through what sir xylem this movement of water minerals and food materials through vascular tissues for longer distances is called as translocation or it is called as translocation therefore translocation means movement of a substance through vascular tissues nothing but xylem and phloem vascular tissues means xylem and phloem over longer distances is called as what sir translocation okay therefore boron helps in carbohydrate translocation helps in what sir carbohydrate translocation sir this boron even helps in pollen germination helps in what sir pollen germination helps in pollen germination pollen germination who helps in pollen germination boron helps in pollen germination right go for the next one sulfur sulfur sir sulfur is a macro element right sulfur is a which element sir macro element sulfur is a which element sir macro element 
Now, first I am writing sulfur containing amino acids, right? What's that? Sulfur containing sulfur containing amino acids. What's that? Sulfur containing amino acids. Sulfur containing amino acids. Number one, cysteine. Number two, cysteine. Third one is a methionine. Methionine. Therefore, cysteine, cysteine, methionine. These are sulfur containing amino acids. Sulfur containing amino acids. Sir, sulfur containing vitamins are vitamins. Sulfur containing vitamins are vitamins. Sulfur containing vitamins are vitamins. Okay. Right? Number one, thiamine. Thiamine. Okay. Next one is biotin. 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 Next one is coenzyme. What is sir? Coenzyme A. What is coenzyme A? Therefore, thiamine, biotin, and coenzyme A, these three are sulfur containing what sir? Vitamins. Sulfur containing vitamins. Now listen to this statement. Feridoxin. What is sir? Feridoxin. Feridoxin. Sir, feridoxin, it is a iron sulfur protein. Feridoxin is a iron sulfur protein. It is a iron sulfur protein. It is a iron sulfur protein. Sir, iron is a micro element, whereas sulfur is a macro element. Yes or no? Iron is a micro element, whereas sulfur is a macro element. This feridoxin is a iron sulfur protein. Feridoxin, FD. Feridoxin. It is a iron sulfur protein. Okay. Sir, this feridoxin, it is present in chloroplast. Where it is present, sir? Feridoxin present in chloroplast. Feridoxin present in what, sir? Chloroplast. Sir, it is involved in electron transport during photosynthesis. Therefore, involved in what? Involved in electron transport. Involved in which transport? Electron transport during photosynthesis. Involved in electron transport during photosynthesis. Okay, we are discussing about feridoxin. It is a iron sulfur protein. It is a iron sulfur protein. Right, feridoxin present in chloroplast. Feridoxin is involved in electron transport during photosynthesis. Electron transport during photosynthesis. Right, we are discussing about what, sir? Sulfur. Right, we are discussing about sulfur. Sir, sulfur forms uh, sulfur forms uh, di sulfide bridges forms what sir disulfide bridges where within a protein between the proteins or within a protein within a protein what it is forming disulfide bridges who sir sulfur and stabilizes the and stabilizes the protein structure Sir, how sulfur is stabilizing the protein structure, sir? By forming disulfide bridges. By forming disulfide bridges. Sulfur stabilizes the protein structure. Sulfur stabilizes the protein structure. Okay. Sulfur is an important nutrient. Important nutrient for optimum growth and productivity of oil, seed, crops. It means crops from which we are extracting oil from the seeds oil seed crops okay therefore sulfur an important uh, an important uh, nutrient an important nutrient uh, for what optimum growth for optimum growth right uh, and productivity Optimum growth and productivity of what sir of uh, oil 
seed crops it means uh, in this crops they are extracting oil from the seeds in such oil seed crops uh, for optimum growth and productivity who is an important nutrient sir who is an important nutrient sulfur right sir electron carriers what sir electron carriers we already got one electron carrier what it is pteridoxin yes or no right pteridoxin involved in electron transport no it's an electron carrier right now take another plastocyanin what it is sir plastocyanin sir this plastocyanin contains copper contains what sir copper copper is a micro element copper is a micro element sir this plastocyanin is a mobile electron carrier it's a mobile electron carrier sir where this plastocyanin is present plastocyanin is present in chloroplast plastocyanin present in what sir chloroplast it is present in chloroplast sir this plastocyanin is a electron carrier it's a mobile electron carrier it is involved in electron transport during photosynthesis involved in okay involved in what electron transport involved in electron transport during photosynthesis involved in electron transport during photosynthesis respiration photosynthesis photosynthesis okay right this is about plastocyanin it's a copper containing mobile electron carrier present in chloroplast involved in electron transport during photosynthesis now go for the next one what it is sir cytochrome 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 sir this is cytochrome right it contains copper what it contains sir it contains copper it contains copper okay right sir this is cytochrome what it contains sir copper it contains copper sir go for the next one cytochrome c oxidase cytochrome cytochrome c oxidase this is also a type of cytochrome i specified its name cytochrome c oxidase sir this cytochrome c oxidase also contains copper what it contains sir copper it contains copper this cytochrome c oxidase is present in mitochondria cytochrome c oxidase is present in mitochondria where it is present present in mitochondria cytochrome c oxidase present in mitochondria now see this statement sir i am writing simply cytochrome cytochrome sir cytochrome is present okay cytochrome is present in chloroplast present in mitochondria cytochrome present in chloroplast and mitochondria cytochrome present in chloroplast and in what sir mitochondria present in chloroplast and in mitochondria sir this cytochrome is involved in both photosynthesis as well as respiration it's important involved in what and what sir involved in photosynthesis and respiration who is involved in both photosynthesis and respiration cytochrome is involved in both photosynthesis and respiration okay therefore cytochrome present in chloroplast present in mitochondria cytochrome is involved in photosynthesis and respiration photosynthesis and respiration right now listen here go for nitrogen what sir nitrogen sir this nitrogen is required by all plant parts required by all plant parts particularly which tissues meristematic tissues and uh, right the cells which are actively participating in metabolic reactions right 
see this statement sir nitrogen is required by all plant parts particularly right meristematic tissues and uh, metabolically active cells it means the cells which are actively participating in metabolic reactions okay sir this nitrogen it is a major constituent of it is a major constituent of uh, proteins enzymes nucleic acids vitamins and hormones nitrogen is a major constituent of proteins enzymes nucleic acids vitamins and what sir hormones okay right sir proteins are made up of what amino acids amino acids contains nitrogen sir enzymes chemically they are proteins it means the enzymes uh, right uh, should contain amino acids that amino acids are with uh, nitrogen nucleic acids dna rna right uh, made up of nucleotides nucleotides means nitrogen base should be nitrogen base should be there therefore contains nitrogen right now go for phosphorus what sir phosphorus sir this phosphorus it is a constituent of a cell membrane a constituent of what sir cell membrane sir present in certain proteins i am not saying all proteins present in certain proteins sir present in all nucleic acids nucleic acids means made up of nucleotides nucleotide means nitrogen base sugar and phosphate phosphate should be as or no therefore it is a constituent of all nucleic acids and a constituent of all nucleotides okay therefore phosphorus is a constituent of cell membrane certain proteins all nucleic acids all nucleotides right sir this phosphorus is required for all phosphorylation reaction statement important required for all phosphorylation reactions required for all phosphorylation reactions now go for potassium sir this potassium is required in large quantities right uh, required in large quantities for a meristematic tissue buds leaves uh, and root tips right potassium is required in large quantities by meristematic tissues buds leaves and uh, root tips sir this potassium is involved in protein synthesis involved in what protein synthesis sir protein synthesis is also called as a translation what it is called as translation not transcription it's a translation therefore potassium is involved in protein synthesis there is a translation sir this potassium helps in opening and closing of stomata helps in what sir opening and closing of stomata opening and closing of stomata right sir this potassium right it is used to activate the enzymes okay and maintains the turgidity of the cells maintains the turgidity of the cells involved in activation of enzymes and maintains the turgidity of the cells maintains the turgidity of the cells okay now go for the next one what sir calcium sir calcium is required by meristematic tissues as well as differentiating tissues differentiating tissues differentiation cell differentiation right therefore calcium required by meristematic tissues and differentiating tissues right sir this calcium is used in cell wall synthesis used in what cell wall synthesis which cell wall sir middle lamellum in middle lamellum for what for the production of calcium pectate name itself indicates calcium pectate therefore calcium used in cell wall synthesis particularly calcium pectate particularly what sir calcium pectate in middle lamellum used in cell wall synthesis particularly calcium pectate in middle lamellum right now we are discussing calcium right sir this calcium accumulates in older leaves calcium accumulates in older leaves calcium accumulates in older leaves sir this calcium activates certain enzymes calcium activates certain enzymes and plays an important role in regulating metabolic reactions activates certain enzymes 
and plays an important role in regulating metabolic activities plays an important role in regulating metabolic activities right now listen here go for magnesium this magnesium is involved in synthesis of a dna and rna magnesium is involved in synthesis of dna and rna this dna and rna both are nucleic acids dna and rna both are nucleic acids sir magnesium maintains ribosome structure magnesium maintains ribosome structure right sir if the concentration of magnesium is 0.001 m the two subunits associates less than 0.001 m the two subunits disassociates yesterday we discussed this statement now go for iron sir it is an important constituent of what sir proteins involved in transfer of electrons such as ferridoxin and cytochrome sir ferridoxin and cytochrome these two are involved in electron transport these two are involved in electron transport sir in this protein sir this iron is an important constituent therefore iron is an important constituent of proteins such as a ferridoxin and cytochrome which are involved in transfer of electrons involved in transfer of electrons sir boron helps in membrane functioning boron helps in membrane functioning go for the last one what sir nickel this is the 17th essential element because this was the recently discovered essential element therefore this is the 17th essential element 17th essential element right thank you